All right, everybody. Today we're looking for roadkill and we were driving and uh, I've got a nice big trash panda back here. So waiting for this traffic to come by. We're gonna go get it and we're gonna put it out on the trail camera and see what eats it. But we're in rush hour traffic and I can't even get across the street. So let's go find it. Make sure we're in four wheel drive. Hang on. There's people really friendly around here. Let's right. up here. Whoa, don't ever drive and do that. Is this an animal? What I thought was a raccoon was a palm frond. Oh. And a pack of Budweiser. Hang on. I know there's one back here. I see a buzzard. All right, we're here. That's what we're looking for. Boom! If somebody else's loss is somebody else's treasure. Let's go see what it is. We'll need that. Let's go. Oh, need to unlock it. Come on, child lock. Cam, you're gonna love this. It's like a woolly mammoth. Not even fit in the cooler. Whoa. Oh, it's a male too. All right, now, now let's go see what we can find. That didn't take long. Got a little bit of bait. That's why you always keep gloves in the back seat. Never know when there could be like a big bloated raccoon on the side of the road that you need. I don't know what that alarm is. I don't see Bill. Where you where you're driving down the road. Big old swollen raccoon like that. Lurking on the side, waiting to jump in your cooler. <laughs> Woo, let's go see what'll eat it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go out, we're gonna take that thing out in the woods, we're gonna set it up. I've got a variety of bait, and we're gonna see there's a bunch of coyotes in this area. I'm going to put it up against the tree. I'm going to mount cameras in several different angles and we're going to see what eats it. I also brought some hidden treasure. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that around. Let's get into it. What's up everybody? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of rope. I'm going to tie it around this bloated uh, trash panda. I'm going to take it back in this peninsula. I'm going to hook it up to a tree. There's been a lot of coyotes, wildcats, all types of game coming through here. And then we're going to set up the uh, trail cameras in three different angles so we can find. So. You ready to hold your breath, Cam? Okay. Be quick. Wish me luck. I don't know why I'm whispering, but... I love you guys. Doing this for you. Man, I'm doing this for each and every one of you. If I don't get some type of... Hope you guys enjoy this video. Right now. Anybody can guess what this is, you can you can win that cooler. over here this is surrounded by water we walked in there's a big trail you can see where all these animals come right down this trail back into the thick thick uh, bushes 
I'm gonna put this up here a little bit. It's nice and windy tonight, and I think it's gonna blow that beautiful smell all over through the woods. Coyotes are gonna come running all over. What I've learned with these trail cameras is all of them act a little bit, a little bit different. A lot of times I set them up down low and I miss whatever it is. So this time I'm gonna try to put this, the bait out somewhere in the open. And I'm gonna put the cameras back a little further so I can capture the whole animal. A lot of times I just get the heads, the legs, a lot of trial and error and it's really frustrating, but hopefully this time it works perfect. There's so many different settings on these cameras. They're so hard to use, it drives me nuts. But whatever. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, now I'm gonna run back to the truck and I'm gonna get some special additive. I call it coyote magic, so I'll be right back with that. So what I got here is some corny, some corny stew. We're gonna take this corny stew and put it all around there. It smells delicious. See that? Perfect. I get a little bit of corny stew around here. Sling it over there. And I like these new savory cuts with beef. I think that's gonna really draw them in. It's kind of like a homemade stew. Yeah. So this is a stealth cam, and we've had the best luck with these. A lot of them we've had mess up. Not stealth cam, a lot of the other brands. Um, this, for me, seems to be the best buy for the money. It's really worked out really well. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hook it on a tree, right up here, facing down that way. All right, I don't wanna bore you too much. We're gonna go ahead and get set up. Then we can go back and play this and check it out. Hope you enjoy it. I don't think anything's gonna walk by without making a U-turn and being like, Ugh, either Ugh, or mm. Let's go. Now that on the bottom right is the raccoon trash panda that we found on the side of the road that literally stopped traffic when we got out because everyone was dry heaving. Amazing situation there. Okay, let's go. We've got it hanging up there. Ooh, there we go. There's a big opossum or possum as people like to spell it. And he is coming in for the 50 pounds of sunflower seeds that I, I put like a mystery basket there just because I didn't want anybody to feel left out on the Devil Island. I, I was sitting there, I'm like, you know what? Maybe they want nuts, maybe they want meat, maybe they want the dog food, maybe they want the roadkill. So let's go ahead and click on forward and see what we can find. Ooh, I think he's in the gag zone. And ooh, big American alligator. That is, now judging from the eyes, you take the eyes and if you put an imaginary line from one eye to the other one, and then you start from there and go forward to the nostrils, every inch is a foot. So tell me what you think. If you think that's a 12 foot gator, high five yourself because that's big bad mama right there. And she actually came from the other side, a real thick brush, but I guess she could smell that distinctive odor that's lurking in my truck now. Ooh, that's at a cool angle. She's lifting up and just ripping it down. Look at her, oh, look at her legs. Look like a beautiful briefcase. I think there's two different gators that came in there. I'm not positive, but keep looking at these pictures. Tell me what you think if it's the same gator. I think there's one that's short and fat, and I think there's one that's long and skinny, but we're gonna keep on moving forward. Boom, there's the other one. See, I, think that that gator right there on the left is a different gator. See how fat it is and its face is kind of like pointed in like a arrow. That gator, if we've been trying to find it and track it, we have not seen it. It's been like this mystery phantom gator that so-called so roams all these neighborhoods at night and people have seen it around the pipes or they've seen tracks but nobody can ever get it on film. Tell me what you think. If you think that gator is a different one than the one that was just eating a uh, roadkill, leave that in the description below. I think it is, but it's up for debate. I think I need to go back and put the camera at a different angle because one of them didn't work. I had a camera on the ground to actually try to catch whatever's coming down that trail 
and it didn't go off, but we'll take this. Let's see what else we got. See, that one looks skinnier. There's no way. I think that one's just sniffing, looking for leftovers. Um, and you can see the bushes to the left have already been matted down. I think this gator just came out of the right-hand side. And right off the edge there, it drops down at least 30, 40 feet where these things could ambush anybody. But this is, ooh, look at that. Yeah, I really intended to get the coyotes, but the gators came up on this trail and I, I mean, we'll take it. It's pretty cool to see that, but it's not what we intended. Look at this thing's mouth. If that were your thigh or your buttocks area, you would be one sore puppy. Ooh, and look at this one. This one came straight out of the water, straight in. I think that, now see the chin on that one? Cam had a good point. The one in one of the pictures, his chin is really big. I think it's noticeably bigger than the other gator. And then that one right there looks like Chinning Tatum. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Moral of the story is, don't camp out on this freak show. Here we go. And right off the bat, ooh, tell him Large Marge sent you. She is eating the roadkill. Yes. Now, if you can see on the right, we've got another camera there with a the little flash. We set up three cameras. Two out of three worked. We thought we had coyotes coming here, but that's no coyote. How cool is that? Look how big that thing's head is. Now, when I picked it up, I could tell where it looked like you took a pontoon boat and rammed it through the bushes where this thing came in. I was excited to figure out what happened here. That's cool. Look how it lifts up on that thing. If you like this, you want me to see more of this, I'll put this back in the same general area. And thanks for watching and subscribing. We'll see you on the next adventure.